What's up, y'all? I'm back now. I'm back here with my partner in crime over here sleeping in the corner. But anyways, we're back with YNW Melly and his ex-girlfriend's mother. Now, from the very start, you guys are going to see that this woman is here not to cooperate. You, you can almost say that she is intentionally acting stupid. Now, I'm pretty sure they're spending some money on this woman because the title is ex-girlfriend's mother so why would she you know forget things or lie on his behalf unless she had some type of gain let's get straight into this Straight out the gate, I feel threatened. She pulled the white woman move. She was like, oh, I feel threatened. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Nah, um, again, the title is ex-girlfriend's mother. So why is she feeling threatened? You should just give up the info you got and move forward. Unless she's a G and she feels like snitching ain't cool. But if you're a civilian, if you're a civilian, telling the police what what happened is a good thing. You know what I mean? So why are you threatened? So, Ms. Holmes, I want to start and just talk about who you are. Yes. Ms. Holmes, do you have any children? Yes, I do. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury who is Mariah Hamilton? My mother's daughter. And how old is Mariah? She's 22 right now. And Mariah, did she have any romantic relationship with someone named Jamel Dennis, also known as YNW Yes, she did. When was she involved in that romantic relationship with Mel? Um, I think in maybe 2016 or so to maybe 2019, 20. Okay. Did you have the opportunity to meet Mr. Dennis? Yes, I did. What did you refer to him as? Um, I call him Jamel Melly. Do you see him here in the courtroom? Jamel Melly, you know? Yes, I do. Where is he? He's right here. Look at that smile. Now look at the look at the difference. I paused it a little too early. Look at that smile she has for Melly. Oh my god, Melly. Hi. Like, come on. That that smile right there is, oh hey, check. What's up? What's hey bank account? How you doing? I love you. I like my my S class bins that you got me. I'm telling you, bro. The money is going to where it needs to go for Mr. Melly. Whoever is managing his money got him the right lawyers and paid off the right people because that smile is the smile of money. That That's the money smile right there. That's you're changing my life smile right there. And what's he wearing? Uh, a white turtleneck and a gray jacket. Here, I'm going to go record. And I'm going to pause it one more time. A white turtleneck sorry a white turtleneck and a gray jacket why the turtleneck because he has the person who he killed's mother tattooed on his neck according to juvie's father ynw juvie's father said that so i mean i mean it's just a sick individual in my opinion man i like his music but i always again i'll say this again i always thought ynw melly was a weird guy just something was off about that individual Yes, the record will, will reflect the court identification of the defendant. Okay. So in October of 2018, had you met the defendant prior? Yes, I, I did. How many times had you met him in person prior to that? A couple. A couple? I think two, two, maybe. Okay. Did you follow him on social media? Um, I'm not sure. In 2018, I wasn't enough. Okay. Did you know if he had social media? Uh, I was, I didn't, no, I didn't. Did you have a social media account at that time? Yes, I did. And what was your social media handle? I'm sorry? What was your social media name? My name? Um, for which one? For Instagram. Instagram, um, it's like Bling Queen 258. Okay. <laughs> Man, I would be like, what the hell? This is being televised. I don't want y'all knowing my Instagram. But then again, Instagram is currency for most women. So, you know, 
she was she was like shout me out baby you know it's 10k so um what is it 10k followers to start making money on instagram perfect segue go follow my instagram ag tactical 25 it's always in the description follow my shit dm me i'm open to the dms hit me up you know what i mean i might not get to them immediately but i fuck with you guys if you want to get a more behind the scene pic of what's going on hit my dms ag tactical 25 um i don't post that often but i'm gonna ramp up on it more so you know I don't think so. I don't think so. If I did, I may have. What about your daughter? Did she have an Instagram? I'm pretty sure she did. Okay. Did she have Snapchat? I'm pretty sure she did. So I want to go forward on October 26th of 2018 and talk about that early morning hours. Did you receive or hear a phone call or a FaceTime video call in which the defendant was a participant? Um, I did overhear. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly the the context of the call, but I did overhear um, the, phone, the phone call. Okay. Tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what woke you up that morning. Um, just hear my daughter's voice. Okay. What was she? And keep in mind, this is the morning right here where all the shit went down. So I'm assuming they FaceTimed the um, his ex-girlfriend to pretty much give him some information, some critical information that we don't know yet, you know? probably revealing to these two is probably the ex-girlfriend and the mother who actually really know what actually happened you know what i mean but hey if you're paid off and you know you're not threatened by jail you know we may never know what happened on that phone call what was the tone of her voice without saying what she said um i don't i don't remember it was i don't remember okay. do you remember anything the defendant said on that video um, not verbatim, no, I don't. Okay. Did you have an opportunity to read the statement you gave in 2008? Um, I read the statement. Okay. Was it I, I don't recall, I don't remember anything from that statement, but I do remember my deposition from okay. December 22. So your the, the deposition, that would have been six months ago? Yes. Okay. I want to go, and when you spoke, you remember speaking with law enforcement in December of 2018? I remember speaking with them, but I couldn't, I don't remember what they look like, I don't remember their names. Yeah, yeah she doesn't remember shit, so she's establishing right now that she's an idiot, you know what I mean? Very firmly, foot to the ground, guys, I'm stupid, I don't know shit, alright? Don't ask me nothing, I'm just gonna say I don't know, I don't remember. Pretty similar to the Alex Murdoch vibe, he would, you know, I don't know, I don't remember. And it might be the best thing for her to do if she was in support of Melly. Because they can't really hold her for obstruction of justice. Like, if she says she doesn't remember, what, what can they say? I don't believe you. You know what I mean? So, it might be the best move for Melly. You know what I mean? Like I said, he has a Johnny Cochran on his team. The way that lawyer talks, trust me, Melly has a Johnny Cochran up his sleeve. So, we'll see what's going on. And I do remember talking to someone. Okay, so, Miss Holmes, I'm going to ask you, were you honest and truthful with law enforcement when you spoke with them? I, I would hope so. I mean, it was, it was I would hope so. I was, I went through a lot in that year, so I'm not sure where my, my mindset was at that time. Did you lie to law enforcement? I would hope not. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I would hope not. I love her answer. She does not give a fuck, bro. She's just like, I don't know. I would hope not. And you know what's crazy is the prosecutor is probably thinking in her head right now like, oh, this is not really going to go the way I planned. I have all these questions and I'm going to get stonewalled by, I'm not sure, I would hope not, maybe not, hopefully so, I wouldn't know, you know, all them convenient answers, all those convenient ones. I don't remember, my, I don't remember my, what I said back then, it was like five years ago. Oh, of course, of course, I understand it's been a long time. So in terms of the... Time frame that was closer in time to the incident of October 26th of 2018. Um, if that's where you guys are saying it is, you don't even remember. I don't remember. Like I said 2018 was a very hard year for me. My husband just went to prison. I, my father died. I had a lot going on, so I was really out of it. Okay. And in terms of your conversations with the police officers that morning, yes, I do remember that they kind of bullied me and threatened my daughter. Bullied her and threatened her daughter. Now, those are some big statements. And again, 
for a prosecutor in front of the jury is very important for her to reel this this testimony in it's very important for her to be the intimidator for her to be the aggressor for her to ask the hard questions now if she has her witness that she subpoenaed up here coming up here and really dominating this conversation that's not a good thing so i'll say this the prosecutor has her work cut out for her because right now i honestly think she wasn't expecting this she's now realizing that oh this woman is not here to play ball not at all she's here to forfeit the game that's literally what she's here to do is forfeit the game excuse me so so that this testimony right here is worthless i feel like that's the goal and right now she's doing a decent job at it and in terms of the statements that you made about what happened you don't have any recollection of that did you read this statement multiple times i i looked at it and i just didn't recall it and i yeah I don't okay. and so you indicated you hoped you were truthful with law enforcement yes i did i have to ask you to be more definitive were you truthful I don't remember what I said to them back then. So if I was to tell you something now, I could be lying. I don't want to lie on the stand because you're going to take me to jail. So I'm mean, saying what you want me to say. I do not want you to say anything. I want you to tell the truth. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, Ms. Holmes, with regards to that day. <laughs> combative. Super combative. You know what I mean? And what can you say? That's what she's doing. Now, I feel like a seasoned prosecutor will have already had these statements kind of lined up. And then you could just read it to her. You could spoon feed her and say, did you say this or not? Is that correct? I don't know. She could say, I don't know the entire way, but it'll paint like a heavier picture for the prosecution. Like, oh, damn. I mean, not the prosecution, for the jury to see that. Like, oh, damn, they said the question to her verbatim. And she's still saying she doesn't remember. But no, that doesn't happen. The prosecutor kind of stops right at the point where she's like, I don't remember and moves on. What she really should have did, I'm not I'm not a lawyer, but I feel like what she really should have did was had those statements that she made five years ago, since it was so long ago, she should have had those statements at the wayside, ready to fire a few of them off and be like, do you not recall this? Oh, you don't? Okay, cool. You see this guy? She doesn't recall verbatim what I just read to her. Okay, moving on. But we'll see. Did you lie to law enforcement? I just asked an answer. Excuse me. Hold on. Yeah, you know, you know damn well, lady, that it was fucking FaceTime because anybody doing illegal shit or anybody who just wants privacy uses FaceTime. Now, what's crazy about this is that I'm pretty sure she saw situations at the scene. Like she saw possibly Melly and his friends behind them bleeding out. Now, she's not going to say this because we already see her demeanor from the start. She's saying she's telling us with her forward shoulders, her face made up. I'm not answering your questions. I am not here to cooperate, which also leads me to believe that they have her paid out. I mean, it's simple to see. And I don't know what the court can do to to like force her to answer. To be honest, if she says she doesn't know, what else can you what else can you ask? She doesn't know. So. At the time of October of 2018 through December of 2018, did you know the defendant's phone number? No, I don't. Do you recall today what the defendant's phone number was? No, I don't. Okay. In terms of the information and stuff that you have regarding 
that phone number? Was that saved in your phone at that time? Um, it may have been. I, don't, I can't remember. Do you remember what phone number you had? At the phone? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you don't know so shit, dumbass. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Sure. You said you didn't remember the defendant's phone number. No, I don't. Would looking at a copy of your statement help refresh your memory as um, you want? No, I don't think it would. Okay. Would you like to try to do so? Yeah, look at it for you. Why is she asking her? This prosecutor, I don't know, bro. You're asking her, ma'am, I would like to read an exhibit from blah, 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 blah. You said this, that, and the third. Why is she saying, would you like to hear what you said? Yes? No? You don't want to hear it? Oh, okay, shoot. Let's move on. Damn it, she didn't want to hear it. No, you assert your fucking dominance. You drop your balls. You, you fucking tell her like, hey, you're going to listen to this shit. You, you mean to tell me and this jury that you didn't say this please that's the easiest trick that the oldest trick in the book you mean to tell me and this jury of reasonable people because they're all picked to have a reasonable you know understanding that this that and the third like come on bro you need to push your assertion you need to push your dominance right now this lady is dominating this what was what this this failure of a of a of an interview it's bad. It's a bad testimony. And the prosecutor needs to wrap this up. Sorry. Prosecutor needs to wrap it up better. She has time. You know what I mean? She just started. But right now, it's not looking too great. And so, counsel on the record, I'm sure number page three of eight. And so, I'm going to ask you, Ms. Holmes, to just read this part silently to yourself. Okay. And I'm going to Time. You know what's funny is this this man might walk away free. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all. The lawyer he got, some about him. I'm I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get off of it. But I think week two of the trial, defense is gonna do something interesting. I don't know. The defense is gonna pull something. That's going to make the jury think about things. Because, again, we do not have evidence of YNW Melly pulling this trigger. We don't. We just don't. Everything is what they, you know, is their speculation, what the obvious is. You know, you can convict somebody off of that, but it's harder to do with a, without a reasonable doubt, without physical evidence. Now, they have the casings, they have this, that, and the other, but they don't have him doing it. Unless Bortland snitches. We haven't seen Bortland snitch yet. We'll find out. Ms. Holmes, how much money has the defendant's manager given you since the October of 2018? See, she's already answering. <laughs> Ma'am, how much money has his manager given you since 2018? She's already shaking her head. None. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no money mm -hmm. here. I don't know what you mean. I guarantee you there's some cold, hard cash somewhere around this woman's basement attic um what personal deposit box somewhere off the off the grid where she's getting the fat racks okay i promise you that that little nice little outfit that all white you know what i mean trust me she getting that bread there's no reason for her to stand up and say she doesn't remember shit like an idiot like a brain dead for somebody who's not doing anything for her for what for her daughter's ex-boyfriend who used to be a rapper who cares oh wait you're paying me now i care now i'm starting to have some amnesia now i can't remember shit relevance which comes out johnson why are you naked because my t-shirt sucks look at gypsum he's wearing a true classic tee it fits him tight in all the right places but leaves the how much money have you gotten from the defendant Credit union, you've banked there for a number of years. Many years. The credit union 
that you've been at, it's been your account, and I won't put your account number on the record for that reason. If you're not object to this line of questioning based on the court's ruling. They're asking her about, I'm sorry, y'all, it's super low. I'm going to try to pump the audio. But they're asking her all about her credit union. How long has she been banking there? Just ask her how much she got in that credit union. I bet you it's under 20K. You know why? Because that money's not in her credit union, stupid. They don't, you, you don't do that. That's dumb. She's holding on to that cash. So the... For all of us, for, his, for him, his wife, and me, to pay for it, as far as um, he gave me, he didn't give, he gave me $5,000 for Airbnb, which I gave him $1,000 to deposit that. Oh. So he did give you money? Not for personal use. Okay. Excuse me. Can we clarify who he is, Jameson Francois? Can you just clarify, counsel? Yeah. So it's clear. Who is Jameson Francois? He's trapped. He's Nelly's manager. And you mentioned his wife as well. Who's his wife? Um, I just go by AA. So AA and his wife. We're all good friends. Okay. So I'm going to go No, you, you weren't all good friends. The only reason you were there, you existed there, is because YNW Melly was, was pining out your daughter. He was... He was dating your little daughter, and you got to ride along to the whole Fredo Bangs or whatever that rapper's name is. You got to go to all the, you got to meet all the people, okay? Y'all weren't good friends, please. It was Melly and your daughter. That was the vibe. Previously shown to defense counsel and Marcus states Triple M. It's a composite of 17 pages. Did you have an opportunity to review that prior to coming to support today? Yes, I did. Okay, and... In terms of the individuals and the phone numbers that are on that, do you recognize your own phone number? No, I do not. Okay. Going forward to the contents of that particular item, do you recognize the conversation about a snake? No, I do not. I, I, I know they had a snake, but I don't recognize this conversation. Okay. With regards to the conversation about the snake that you do remember, what do you remember about the snake? Um, that they had a snake. What happened to it? Objection. Relevance is sustained. Aaron, may we approach Sure. So, Ms. Holmes, I want to ask you a question as to what was your daughter's phone number back in October uh, of 2018? I have no idea. I don't know. Is there anything that would refresh your recollection as to what her phone number was? No, because I don't remember mine. You don't even remember your yeah, phone? No, I don't know. In terms of... Okay, I'll give her that. Like, if you changed your number, I wouldn't remember that shit. But at the same time, I remember my number from, like, high school. But that might be just because it was high school and things just last long. But, yeah, you guys get the... You guys basically get the drift. There is no attempt to 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 help prosecution at all. And it's not like it's her obligation, but she's intentionally being difficult. And is poking holes in the prosecution, showing that she doesn't know how to handle these curveballs that get thrown at her. She's always asking her, would it refresh your memory if I showed you this? No, just show it to her. Read it to the jury. Look away from her. Look at the jury. Make her seem non-credible. Like, you know, you got to play your cards. You got you to play your strengths. Uh, did you review your statement of December 18th of 20, I'm sorry, December 14th of December 12th of 2018. Did you review that statement prior to testifying today? Um, I'm, I'm, yes, I did. Okay. And in that statement, were you asked, what is your daughter's phone number? Objection. Oh. I don't remember. If I were to show you the statement, would that help refresh your recollection? So why don't you ask that question? I don't think you would, no. But you can show it to me. She's so frustrated. Do you have permission to approach? but you know what all this i don't know i don't think it would i don't i don't know maybe I'll, the jury the jury isn't a fucking dumbass the, the people on the jury aren't stupid right we're all looking at the same thing right me you guys 
we're all looking at the same thing. We're not dumb. She's hiding. She's covering for something. Okay. Simple as that. So this, I don't know, maybe this and that and the other. But the one negative thing is it's obvious that she's covering. But how much she's covering is what's negative. Because now we don't know these key details. And the prosecution is not really doing a great job, in my opinion, at prying the mouth of her. You know what I mean? By playing the crowd a little bit. By playing into her insecurities a little bit. She's looking more insecure than the actual witness right here. So. If you could just read silently to your son. Okay. Looking at that, does that refresh your recollection as to what your daughter's phone number was? I still don't recognize the number. Um, it does look to me, but I don't know if that's her number. I don't recognize the number. Okay, so you don't recognize the number. Yeah, that three daughters, so I don't know. I don't know. So, Judge Bernard, should you treat the witness as possible? Man, you gotta grab her by the fucking eyelashes and tell her, girl, if you don't fucking, if you don't remember this, I'm gonna rip your real eye, eyelashes out. I mean, come on. It's so frustrating how she can sit here and just lie. I guess you do it every day. I mean, that check, Sheesh. I mean, if the check is right, you can do a lot of things, I guess. But the fact that, you know, he killed his best friends and you have, you know, first person information about this. He FaceTimed your daughter. You saw the FaceTime. She already said, yes, she saw him on the FaceTime. Who knows what else he showed them on that FaceTime? The fact that she's not helping with that, you know, it kind of attests to the code of the streets don't snitch you know people in the streets would be like yeah she a real one she a real one she not a real one bro she she's someone she's a pawn getting paid off Okay, Ms. Holmes, when we left off, we were talking about a pet snake. Yes. Do you remember there being a pet snake? I remember you talking to me about it yesterday. Okay. And with regards to that snake, you recall it unfortunately passed away? Um, I'm pretty sure, probably, I'm not sure it's not here, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Do you remember the name of that pet snake? No, I don't. And in terms of the owners of that snake, do you remember who owned it? Um, I just know it was, um... I don't know who the owner was. It was in the, in the house with Mariah. Okay. Where did Mariah live at that time? Um, she lived in Myanmar. And do you know the address? No, I don't. Okay. Who did she live with? Um, she lived with a boyfriend, but you know. Okay. Are you telling the ladies and gentlemen of this jury mm -hmm. that you don't remember your phone number in October 2018? I'm telling you that I do not remember my phone number. I don't remember. And are you telling the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that you don't remember your daughter's? Phone number. No, I do not remember my daughter's phone number. And there's nothing that would refresh your memory or recollection whatsoever. Uh, Objection. Ask for an answer. Overruled. That was four years ago. I've had so much trauma in my life since then. Of course. I mean, so, all right, all right. She's she's full of shit. Number one, but number two, I mean, fuck. I don't know. I know my number right now, and I've had it for years, and I know my number. <laughs> from a decade ago in a different country i do know my number from then so i don't know what i was gonna say but i mean if you have a lot of phone numbers right i guess i guess it's believable that you would forget them you know but i'm just not a person who changes i've had like three three phone numbers probably my entire life but i mean that's three phone numbers and i remember all of them so to sit there and say you don't remember, unless you're one of these celebrities that changes their phone like every other month, then you should re fucking remember your numbers. Just saying. It's like a social security number. Do you guys know your social? You better. I hope so. I hope you guys know your social. I know two socials from two countries. Come on now. Come on now. So is it fair to say that you were worried about Melly when you came down here? Was I worried about him? Yes, I was. You were worried about him because I, he had just been involved in a drive-by? No, because they said his friends had been in a drive-by. Okay. 
and you were worried about him because he was hiding in some bushes. Judge, I don't remember him. Sustain. Yeah. What do you remember? I sustain the objection. What do you remember? Um, I actually remember him saying, "Oh, the come? Would you come get him?" When you made contact with him later that same day at Frito's house. Yes. Yeah. Is it fair to say he had no blood on him? No, he didn't have any blood. And is it So remember, this is like these are the people he went to, you know, he just did his dirty business, bang bang, this, that, the other. We go to ex we go to girlfriend and mommy. This is where we crash at. So trust me, when I tell you she knows a lot more things than she's leading off, she knows a lot more things. Is it fair to say that he left? Frito's <laughs> house and went up to a video shoot that afternoon evening. Um, yes, he did. Did you go to that video shoot? No, I didn't. Did Mariah live with Mr. Demons after the homicide for a period of time? Uh, yeah, she did. Uh, yeah, she did. Like, like you didn't know that, lady. Psh, let's continue. She lived in a condo in Miami with him. Yes, she did. Have you made other statements about the events of October 26th of 2018? I don't remember making any other statements. Do you recall an Instagram conversation with the co-defendant Courtland Henry? I don't remember it. Okay, so I may approach. I'll see if this refreshes your recollection as to that conversation. It's three pages. So it's more counsel. Not yet, Your Honor. And the fact that she has to read it to herself, I mean, let the lady read the shit out loud. We want to hear it. Come on. Like, we don't want to, we don't want to see her read it to herself. Read it out loud, you know? Look at the jury, read it, and tell them that didn't happen. I don't, I don't remember it. Okay. So that was pretty much, you know, YNW Melly's ex-girlfriend's mom. She doesn't know shit. She, she's as airheaded as the bun on her head. You know, she's as lightheaded as the bun that's sitting on top of her head. I guess the gel that, that slicked her back just kind of wiped away some of her brain cells for today. But she don't know shit. And if we go through the rest of this, it's just going to be a whole lot more of nothing. So... That was pretty much her. That was week one. Week two is going to be a doozy. <laughs> it's going to be fucking interesting to watch, to say the least. So, can't wait to see that happen. You guys, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this trial so far. Who do you think is going to come out on top, the state or Melly? Right now, I'm dead center. I'm in the middle of the highway. I'm not sure. It could be Melly. It could be the state. Because it depends on what his defense does. <clears throat> later on in this trial if they drop something crazy that just that just completely messes up you know the reasonable doubt situation and you have you start to have all these doubts acquittal is is in the future you know what i mean so until the next one people stay inside stay safe i love y'all you know again be careful with them friends that you got around you you know until the next one y'all see you